Alright guys, I'm back for Sorrento Beach and it was a very long day and it was a very long night because we had to drive all the way back here to here. Like wow, it was a very far distance. And guys, I promise you that I would rather we would rather read the 52 story trios. So we are about to read it. We have to chapter eleven. Let me close it a little bit. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Chapter 11. Surprise. It's quite a long trip home. Ding ding. That's, that's a tram. It's going around. And here it again. And it's ding ding all over the place. There's a desert area, I think. Right now there, there's a big long trip way back. And finally, we arrive, Jill stop. She got off and we wave goodbye. Wow. Now they, they, they go back home now. The next stop is ours. We get off to the tram and come up to our treehouse. And we're great to be home again. And there's a lot to do. There are sharks to feed, watermelons to smash. Now they have to having fun now. Way wave to serve, chainsaw to jiggle. Oh my god. Oh no, not again! There's Annie's head on the rock. Rocking horse to race. And make your own pizza. Don't make themselves and don't make them pizzas don't make themselves, you know. Wow, that would be a fun experience. So, so says Terry, we flow, we flow around to see through swimming pool, and what's work out pretty well. Yeah, except the one thing I say. What says Terry? Except that today is my it's my birthday, and you completely forgot it. Today is your birthday, says Terry. You should have told me. I just did, I say. I shouldn't have had to do the shoot. I shouldn't have had to. You should have remembered. That's what friends do. I'm sorry, says Terry. But before I met you, I never had a friend that ever had a birthday, so I didn't know. I didn't have a. I, I never had a birthday, I say. Why not? My parents thought they were too dangerous, says Terry. Now Terry thinks that it was birthday was dangerous. Here we go. All the things that make birthday dangerous, <clears throat> according to Terry's parents. That's a lot. I'm gonna read it. Sign could fall and you catch fire or choke someone or both. And. And drop on someone's brain. That's a lot of everything. That's a lot. You can see. It says, a child could suck instead of blowing and swallow the flames. The child lean towards the chair, lean to leaning towards the chair. Sharp knife cutting, sharp cake cutting knife. Dangerous reptile left on on the table. Possible choking hazard with ice. And drink it and uh, drink dangerous ribbons. They could be like uh, gift contains easy to use chainsaws. Dangerous present dangerous presents with small part plastic bag, sharp object with difficult instructions. Parties are very dangerous. Dangerous gorilla, choking hazard, smoke hazard. We have hibernation of dizziness from trying to blow the birthday cake. Why is hazard to good flow flying currentness? F balloons floating up near raw rotating ceiling fan. That's a lot. So what are you, when is your birthday? I say, I don't know, says Terry. We never celebrate. It's so uh, I'm not sure when it is. I think it's a moment. I think I think for a moment. There's only one thing you do. Terry? I say, yes, you can share my birthday. Really? Yes, and because I never forget my own birthday, I never forget you either. So I'll be able to remind you. 
we celebrate together every year starting today. Thanks, Andy, says Terry. You're the best friend I ever had. Just one question. What's that? How old are we? Now you have to figure out what age are they. It's fun. It's fun you should ask, I say, because that's what I was about to tell the reader at the start of a book. And what's the answer? Well, I say, we are, we are... Andy! Called the voice of the force. Terry, come quick! That's Jill, I say. I say, it sounds like she's in trouble, says Terry. Oh, it's not vegetable trouble, I say. Come on, let's go. We each grab a vine to swing the bottom of the tree and rush to the, into the forest. Jill, I call. Where are you? I'm over here, she say. Hurry, don't worry, we're coming, says Terry. Oh, now the Jill's in trouble, I think. We run into clearing surprise, says Jill. Uh, clearing surprise, yell Jill, sorry. Now, I didn't know. And we have to chapter 12. That was a relief. Hope you guys in enjoy it. And let me know in the comments below what is your favorite part. Make sure to subscribe because there's two more uh, there's two more chapters left until the 65 story tree house. Stay tuned for that book and chapter 12 of the 52 story tree house. I'm Aaron Chung. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure.